Good morning. PlayStation 5 came in and the PlayStation 5 is beeping three times. From experience, I can say that uh, the fix on this is the BIOS chip that you're seeing in the video there. We are going to be replacing that BIOS chip with a donor BIOS. If you guys need any of these BIOS chips, you can find them on our website, pre-programmed. Uh, W-A-Y-A-Y-E-O.org. I have already disassembled the unit. So let's get right to it. We're going to go ahead and start by applying some low melt let it solder on this bio so that we can e so that we can easily remove it. Turning on the fume extractor. And hopefully this helps you guys out there that uh, have some solder sk soldering skills. It's a pretty step uh, Pretty straightforward fix. This only works on systems that beep three times. So as soon as you plug it in, sometimes you plug it in and you push the power button, beeps three times and nothing else happens. You have to unplug it and plug it back in again. Now I've done this on a few systems they have all worked, but I have heard that this does not always fix the issue, so after I replace this BIOS, we're going to plug this in and hopefully we get the, the system back up and running. If you can tell from the video, we have added some thermal, uh, some solder. Now we're going to go ahead and remove it, remove that chip by applying some heat. I am applying 700 F Fahrenheit. 700F here on the uh, on the heat gun here on the heat nozzle here. And we want to be careful not to knock out any of the components that are nearby so and if we do we can always put them back but it's extra work So it's almost time to get it out. So there you go, we easily lifted out the chip. This is the BIOS. Uh, There's a PlayStation 5. And this is the BIOS chip for it. We are going to be replacing it with another one that I know works which is this one. And again, you can get this off of our website. If you having some this same issue, you can easily you can replace it or you can send it in to, for us to replace it. So there you go. I, I, uh, I prepared that area there. So now we're going to go ahead and replace this. Give me one second, I just want to make sure I, I li align it uh, properly.
So the BIOS goes like this. Now we just need to make sure. Now I am not going to apply any more heat. We're just going to use the soldering iron here so that we don't stress the border anymore. And so we're going to start with one side here. Let's apply some flux, please, uh, first. Turn on the fume extractor. So that side is in place. In the future, I'll be making videos on how to solder, more like an instruction video of, uh, I guess, soldering basics. That is in place. We can always add a little more solder if we want to, but it's making good contact. So. Let me put it back in place. That, that is the replacement of the BIOS here. It's very simple. You can see that the pins are nicely soldered. Let me get another angle. Okay. This side. Okay, maybe this side here needs a little more solder. It's making good contact, but we can always make it a little better. Maybe push the pins down a little bit without breaking them. We just got to be careful. All the ones are perfect. So let me put it back together and then I'll turn on the uh, console C. Uh, make sure that everything is working fine. I'll be right back. Okay, so we assembled the unit. We're going to go ahead and turn this on and hopefully it works. Turning on the TV over there. This is uh, the system that we replaced the BIOS on. We're flipping the switch, uh, power on button. And there you go, it seems like it's working fine. And you can see the screen over there showing up. So if you guys have any problems like these, you can contact us for help, or you can simply send it in through our website, wayaeo.org, yao.org. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you guys again soon.